Hello. Well, today I thought I'd uh, talk about a movie that is 40 years old this year, and um, it's, a, it's a movie that I've seen various points throughout my life, um, especially when I was a kid. Um, I saw this off and on on TV over the years, or, and then obviously getting it on <laughs> DVD is... Um, uh, the Karate Kid. Um, to, um, to anybody who hasn't seen this, uh, it's about a uh, uh, teenager, uh, Daniel, who moves to San Francisco with uh, his mother. Uh, they're from New Jersey. And she has a new job, hence why they move. Um, and he's very much into karate. Uh, and, um, as he's, uh, uh, new in these meetings with people, um, you know, before school and start school, and then once he's at school, um, you know, he meets, uh, he goes to, like, a party, and he meets some people, including Allie, who's played by Elizabeth Shue. And, uh, her ex-boyfriend Johnny comes, and, uh, he's part of a, uh, karate school. They're basically like a gang, you know, with Cobra Kai. And, uh, yeah, they basically, uh, uh, pick on him, uh, um, because, you know, you know, he's, uh, one hand he's new, Second off, Johnny isn't fond of the fact that he's uh, being quite friendly around his ex-girlfriend. And so, um, you know, they, there's obviously, you know, Daniel gets beaten up here and there. And, uh, and the one night he's running home uh, from a, like a Halloween dance after... pulling a prank on Johnny uh, when he was in the bathroom and he uh, is, you know, he's getting beat up and then Mr. Miyagi, who uh, works at uh, the apartment building that uh, that Daniel and his mother uh, move into and he, uh, He helps him. He, he beats up the guys, you know, who are Johnny and his gang. And prior to that, there was some moments where the two of them are kind of uh, getting to, uh, I guess, bonding would probably be the best word. Um, though over the course of the film, the two bond more. And uh, they, uh, they have a... He, you know, he talked about uh, bonsai trees um, and trimming them. And he, from there, uh, they just uh, start this uh, lessons, which I, the, obviously on the outset doesn't is ex doesn't exactly seem like anything. You know, he's talking about a, like wax on, wax off for the for washing his cars as well as um, sanding and uh, painting the you know, fences and uh, the house and doing certain things that, you know, obviously on the surface doesn't look like much, but then he's in having him uh, uh, Learning all these things, basically by muscle memory, like he's doing, having him do these certain tasks or like chores, and then from there he's remembering all these certain things that obviously on the surface he's just like, this isn't gonna really help me, but okay, like, you know, do certain things 
for him, for Mr. Miyagi, and then eventually I'll learn how to learn karate. And and especially because, you know, they're going to do it. Uh, Daniel is going to be entered in this uh, 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 championship uh, karate tournament that the Cobra Kai uh, school is going to be rolled into. And... Um, yeah, it's it, this is just an excellent film. Um, the movie is directed by John uh, G. Avelson, the director of Rocky, who obviously won an Academy Award. Pat Morita got nominated for an Academy Award uh, for his performance in this film. Um, and again, this is just a film that is just uh, classic. Um, and part of why I, I rewatch this and want to talk about it is because you know, um, by the time you've seen this, uh, if you watch Daisuke Beppo's channel, um, he will have already talked about this in a live stream. Um, but I thought, you know, not only does it give me a good chance to just rewatch this film, it's, it's been a while since I watched it, and. Uh, uh, and also just to have a, just to be part of the discussion of uh, talking about this film and the various aspects of it. Um, yeah, I just, uh, I enjoy this film. It's a really good film. It's excellent. Um, very well made. Um, Bill Conti also, he does the score. He did the score for Rocky. So... Some people, you know, involved in Rocky were involved in this. Um, and, and this does sort of have another uh, uh, trait with Rocky that's shared where it's sort of like a, the underground, or the underdog underground. Yeah, I don't know about this being an underground film or any of the sorts of, or anything like that, but this is a... Uh, you know, obviously a coming of age film, but also I do think that uh, an underdog kind of tale is also appropriate with the Karate Kid. You know, in a way, like you know, he's new. He does. He likes karate, but it's he never really had any actual training, uh, proper karate training. Like, he, like it said, like he did it at the like the YMCA, but you know, it's like I guess like. You know, I've never taken karate, uh, let alone at the YMCA, so I have no clue how good or bad that uh, would be. Though, obviously, there are karate schools that people can enroll in. And, uh, yeah, this is a... It, it's just a very good film. It's excellent. It's a very good, uh, uh, good performance as well. Ralph Macchio uh, does an excellent job. Um, everybody does an excellent job, though, of course. Pat Morita's performance as Mr. Miyake is uh, very lauded. It's a very beloved uh, character. He's a very beloved character, and Pat Morita's performance is excellent. Um, uh, it's... it's it's just a excellent film. It's a, it's a it's one that's absolutely amazing. And prior to this, you know, Pat Morita was in Happy Days, so you know, um, and being in a more dramatic film uh, did help him sort of be able to show his range, as opposed to just being uh, just comedy. Um, and of course, obviously, absolutely nothing wrong with comedy. Uh, but uh, I think this was very good for his career. You know, not just because he got nominated for an Oscar, but just dealt with his range. And and also uh, over the course of the film, we hear about Mr. Miyagi and his background, like being in the military and being married, and his wife and son. 
dying in childbirth because you know they went to they were taken to an internment camp because this was back in the 40s where that's what happened with various Japanese uh, civilians, people who were in America, but you know they're put into these internment camps. Um, and you know, and Miyagi, Mr. Miyagi, he went into the army and uh, fought in you know Germany, and it was informed that uh, his wife and son died as a result of complications of childbirth um, and there wasn't a doctor you know there to help um, so very unfortunate um, but also you know uh, quite um, realistic to a good extent you know and how in some of these internment camps you know you know, probably find out there were, were, you know, you know, children and also, you know, the mothers, you know, dying in childbirth. And it's just a unfortunate reality, but uh, this film does a very good job of uh, uh, putting that in the film. Um, Obviously, you know, for anybody who has not seen this film, I don't want to give the whole ending away. Because um, I do know there are people who um, have, have commented on my videos. They have not seen some of these movies. You know, obviously, they'll, you know, there are some that are considered classics. But, you know, for one reason or another, they just never saw this. You know, in this, in this case, perhaps they didn't... didn't um, grow up with this you know because this is a film where a lot of people who talk about this incredibly fondly um and i know i haven't talked about it before now but um again you know over the years there's a lot of stuff you want to talk about and sometimes certain films you know be they classic or be they new kind of just you don't talk about them as perhaps as fast as you would like to but or that's you know not that i have a list because i don't but if i but if you have a list of things like sometimes things just kind of pile on and so certain films kind of get buried and uh take a while to get to but i'm glad that i'm happy i got to uh re-watch this this is an excellent film uh i enjoyed it when i saw it as a kid and watching this still uh still like it uh again everybody in this is excellent um incredibly well made film um and yeah i don't think anybody else could have really directed this film um not that anybody not that nothing against any directors of the time but i think with rocky being under avelson's belt in a way, that was kind of, I think, a benefit to this film. You know, you got the director of Rocky. You know, a film about an underdog. And, you know, this is a coming-of-age film, but also still has that underdog uh, feel to it. And, um, yeah, no doubt that's been discussed <laughs> before. You know, I don't believe I'm ever the first person to ever make that kind of connection with the two films that this director has made, but... It is absolutely uh, uh, interesting to note, at least. Um, and to anybody who has not seen this film, I think it'd be worth watching at least once to see whether you like it. Um, there are three sequels um, uh, to this film. I don't have any of the sequels, but I have seen them. There was the remake starring Jackie Chan and uh, Jaden Smith. And there is a uh, Cobra Kai, which I have not seen. I have not seen Cobra Kai. Um, I know it was on YouTube for a while, and it went to Netflix. And I don't have Netflix, so can't watch that. Um, guess could pri pirate it, but I don't know. 
you know, sometimes it's like a lot of times those pirating <laughs> sites to watch uh, shows and stuff. Uh, there's quite a bit of ads, and you gotta have a VPN, and but of course, you know, it's like what kind? I don't know. So I generally don't go to places like that, but uh, this is an excellent film. Um, definitely deserving of the praise that it has received over the years, um, as well as any accolades that it has uh, been at least nominated uh, for, if not received. Um, I know Pat Morita didn't win the Oscar uh, or Golden Globe, um, but he was deserving of uh, the nomination at the, uh, honestly, so, uh, great, great, uh, writing, great direction, great acting, uh, great score, really everything about this is excellent, and, um, yeah, that's really all I have to say. What do you think? Do you, uh, have you seen this? And if so, do you do you like this film? Do you dislike this film? Um, if you haven't seen it, has it been one that you've wanted to watch over the years and just haven't for whatever reason? Or maybe you have, but you just, it was just so long ago that you don't really remember it. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this would actually help <laughs> get anybody interested in watching this film. But if so, all right. Um... But yeah, that's uh, really it. That's all I've got. I hope all of you are doing well. Hope you're all having a great day. Hope you have had a great week. Hope you have a great weekend. And uh, yeah, it's March. So uh, it should be getting warmer. Um, it's been going off, off and on with the uh, weather here. It's been some very good sunny days in February. February. Uh, as well as um, early days of March, you know, there's been some good sunny days, but then it's been kind of rainy. So hopefully wherever you are in the world, the weather is fine. Obviously in the uh, southern hemisphere, it's going to be the exact opposite. So it's going to get cooler. But yeah, for those of us here in the northern hemisphere, we uh, we're, uh, the uh, winter seems to be dissipating at least. So. I'm I'm kind of ready for spring. You know, it's my favorite uh, time of year. I know this has nothing to do with the Karate Kid, but hey, you know, uh, you know, uh, it being in California and it being pretty much warm uh, overall uh, uh, year round for the most part. Um, I think, if anything, that kind of reminds me of, like, yeah, spring is is pretty much here. You know, it's around the corner. It's kind of peeking its head out. So, yeah. Not exactly related, but kind of, because the, the setting of this film just reminded me of it. So, yeah. Also, Pat Morita is American. I don't know if you anybody knew that, but, yeah, he was, he was American. Parents were from Japan, but, you know, he is of Japanese descent, but he was born and raised here in America, so, yeah. Anyway, that's it. That's all I have to say. Apologies for rambling at the end of this video, but I don't know that happens. So, again, please just take care, and hope you'll have a great day and weekend. So, see you all next time. Bye.